Okay, let's finish up our consonant proportionality notes so that we can get ready to move on in class on Thursday and Friday. Um, so the second part of the proportionality and tables notes says, use your understanding of the consonant proportionality to determine K. If the relationship does not have a consonant proportionality, label it non-proportional. So I need to take each of these and divide. And I also need some scrap paper so I can show my work. Let me go ahead and do so in my notebook. All right, so the first one I'm dividing, 6.8 by 2. So 6.8 goes in, 2 goes out. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 6, 0, 8, 3.4. So this is 3.4. I'm just going to write it to the side. 17 divided by 5. I know this won't go in evenly, so I'm going to put a decimal and a 0. 5 goes into 17 three times. So far, so good. 15, 20, and that's 4. 3.4. Okay, let's try 37 and 11. Well, 37 and 4 tenths divided by 11. 11 goes in here three times, that's 33, 44.4. So yes, this is proportional. And K is 3.4. K equals 3.4. That's my constant proportionality. Okay. Over here, I'm going to do 3 divided by 1, which is 3. Then I'm going to do 9 divided by 4, which is 2 point something. Let's figure it out. 9 divided by 4. 2, 8, 10, 2, 8, 20. That's 2 and a quarter. Right there, I already know that they are non-proportional. Because these two ratios, whoops, these two ratios are not equivalent. All the ratios of y to x must be the same. So this is y divided by x. This is 3.4. This is 3.4. This over here is y divided by x. Over here, I'm going to do y divided by x, which is 18 divided by 3, which is 6. 30 divided by 5 is also 6. 42 divided by 7 is 6. 54 divided by 9 is 6. This is proportional. K equals 6. Done with that. <clears throat> A table can also represent K in a proportional relationship. This is my X. This is my Y. Usually X and Y are either on top to bottom or left to right. That's how we read ratios until we do the constant of proportionality and we do y divided by x. So I'm going to take one-third and divide by one. K equals one-third divided by one. Anything divided by one is itself. Okay, so this is the constant of proportionality. I could do that over here. Four-thirds divided by 4 is equal to 1 third still. Okay? And how I do that is 4 thirds divided by 4. I would keep change flip. 4 thirds times, this is 4 over 1, 1 over 4. The 4s cancel out. I'm left with 1 over 3. Okay? Each table shows a proportional relationship. Fill in the missing values and determine K. So 78 and 13. This is the only complete ratio here. So I have to divide 78 by 13. Here's my work. 78 divided by 13. Let's write my multiples of 13 out. 13, 26, 39, 52, 65, 78, boom, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 multiples. So 13 goes into 78 six times. 
So x and y, the constant of proportionality over here is 6. So 10 times 6 is 60. 42, what number times 6 gives me 42? I have to divide by 6, and I will get 7. What number times 6 will give me 24? That's 4. And then 1 times 6 is 6. So when we're going from left to right, we're multiplying by 6. When we're going from right to left, we're dividing by 6. Y equals 6X. Y equals, I want you to also know how to write the equation. Whoa. Okay. 15 over 6. This is my X. This is my Y. I have to divide. Top in, bottom out. 15 divided by 6. 6 goes into 15 2 times. 2 times 6 is 12. I'm going to have a decimal because I'm going to have some leftovers. 30, and that's 5. And then there's no remainder. 2.5 is the relationship here. So I could put anything I want here, but it should probably be between 6 and and 18. So let's say 10. 10 times 2.5 is going to be 25 because all I have to do is move my decimal one place to the right when I multiply by 10. 60 divided by 2.5. 60 divided by 2.5. Can't have a decimal out here so I move this one place to the right and then I'll have to move this one place to the right. So it's 25 into 600 and I need to think about how many quarters are in six dollars so I could do this I could say there's two two times 25 is 15 now a hundred 25 goes into a hundred four times so this is 24 75 divided by 2.5 same thing, except it'll be 750 divided by 25. There are three quarters and 75 cents, and then I need that 10, so it'll be 30. Y equals 2.5x. Over here, 12 and 15, 20 and 25. Let's do division, top in, bottom out. 20 divided by... 25. All right, 25 doesn't go into 20, but it goes into 200 eight times. Eight times 25 is 200. Zero, 80. So that's point 80 is my constant of proportionality, or this is four fifths. How'd you get that, Miss Darling? I took 20. I divided by 25, and then I simplified by 5, top 5 at the bottom. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 25 divided by 5 is 5, 4 fifths. Okay? So this can be written two different ways. You can have 0.8x, or you can have y equals 4 fifths x. These are the same. All right, last one. 84 and 28. Top in, bottom out. Oh, look at this right multiples of 28. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight times two is fifty-six. Plus another eight. Or twenty-eight is four. Carry the one. Eighty-four. There it is. So that's one, two, three. Three multiples of twenty-eight. K equals 3. So 35 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 105. Now I have to divide by 3. 63 divided by 3 is 21. Because 3 goes into 6 twice and 3 goes into 1. I'm sorry, 3 goes into 3 once. 42 divided by 3 is 14 and 7 times 3 is 21. Did not finish this table over here. Whoops. 
My bad. So I need some number times 0.8 to give me 4. So I'm going to take 4 and divide by 0.8. 4 divided by 0.8, move my decimal one place over, move my decimal one place over, I need a 0. 40 divided by 8 is 5. I need 8 divided by 0. 0.8. 8 divided by 0. 0.8, move your decimal one place over, move your decimal one place over. This is 80 divided by 8, which is 10. And then I can do any one I want here. It's got to be between 15 and 25. Let's say 20. So now I'm going to do 20 times 0.8. Because that's my constant of proportionality. This is my x and this is my k. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 2 is 16. One decimal place. Whoa! 16. So these are 80% of these numbers. Over here, y equals 3x. Last part of your note, proportionality and tables. Savannah, Greg, and Kevin all take part-time jobs for the summer. Their hourly wages are shown in the tables below. Use the information to answer each question. So I need to find out how much each person makes per one hour because they start with 2. So over here, this is 19 divided by 2. That's their hourly rate. Over here, this is 27 divided by 3, which is $9. I can do that off the top of my head. Over here, this is 16.50 divided by 2, which is 8.25. I could do that in my head as well. Right now, Greg gets paid more out of these two. And then $19, half of 19, well, half of 18 is $9. And then I need half of one more dollar. So half of a dollar is 50 cents. Again, I can do that in my head. Savannah gets paid the most. And Kevin gets paid the least. Let's keep that in mind before I even start looking at my questions down here. What is the constant of proportionality K of Kevin's wage, Greg's wage, and Savannah's wage. I just did that. Savannah gets $9.50 per hour. Greg gets $9 per hour. And Kevin gets $8.25 per hour. Which person has the highly, highest hourly wage? I did that already too, Savannah because her number is greater. Savannah, whoa, Savannah, <laughs> because her constant of proportionality is greatest. If all three friends work 20 hours during the week, how much would each person earn? So I'm going to look for 20. This is going to be times 2 because I need 20 hours. 20 O-U-R-S. I need 20 hours over here. So I'm going to take 189 and I'm going to subtract 1 hour and then I'm going to subtract 1 $9. So 20 equals 180. And then I need, boom, here's 20 over here. So I'm using my table to figure out what I have. Okay, y'all, my video is about to cut out. So real quick, they get 190, or Savannah gets 190 for 20 hours, Greg gets 180, and Kevin gets 165. Savannah's time um, for $247 is 26 hours. I divide 247 by 915, I get 26. And Greg, in order for him to get 500, he has to work about 56 hours. I divide 500 by 9 but I have to round to the nearest hour and always go up to be safe because if I work just 55 hours, it's going to be just below $500. Okay, that's the end of your notes. Have a great day.